From the 8th of March, people in England will see restrictions start to lift and our four-step roadmap will offer a route back to a more normal life. Before each step proceeds, four tests must be met. 1. The vaccine deployment program continues successfully. 2. Evidence shows vaccines are sufficiently effective in reducing hospitalizations and deaths in those vaccinated. 3. Infection rates do not risk a surge in hospitalizations, which would put unsustainable pressure on the NHS. 4. Our assessment of the risks is not fundamentally changed by new variants of concern. Step 1. From the 8th of March, 2021. All children and students can safely return to schools and colleges. There will be twice weekly rapid testing for secondary and college pupils, in addition to regular testing for all teachers. Childcare and children's supervised activities can resume, including after school sports and outdoor activities. People can leave home for recreation outdoors with their household or support bubble or with one other person from outside their household. Care home residents will be allowed a regular visitor. And from the 29th of March, 2021, outdoor gatherings of either up to six people or a larger group from up to two households will be allowed. Outdoor sports facilities will be allowed to reopen and organized outdoor sport can resume. All outdoor supervised children's activities can restart, as can outdoor parent and child groups, for a maximum of 15 people, excluding under fives. You can leave home, but should still work from home if you can, and minimise travel as much as possible. International holidays are still not allowed. Step 2. Not before the 12th of April 2021. Non-essential retail may open along with personal care premises, like hairdressers. Indoor leisure facilities, such as gyms, will reopen, but only for people to use on their own or with their household. Most outdoor attractions, including zoos and drive-in cinemas, can open, as can libraries and community centres. Pubs and restaurants can host people outdoors, although this must be while seated. Wider social contact rules will apply in all these settings to prevent indoor mixing between different households. 15 people can attend weddings, receptions and commemorative events like wakes. As at present, 30 can still attend a funeral. Self-contained accommodation such as campsites and holiday lets where indoor facilities are not shared with other households can reopen. All indoor supervised children's activities can restart, including sport and parent and child groups. You can stay away from home, but must not mix with other households indoors and should still minimise travel as much as possible. International holidays are still not allowed. Step 3. Not before the 17th of May 2021. The rest of the accommodation sector will reopen. You should still minimise travel away from home. Most restrictions on meeting others outdoors will be lifted, although gatherings of over 30 people will not be permitted. Indoors, the rule of six or a larger group from up to two households will apply. Indoor hospitality and entertainment venues will reopen, but they must provide table service. Indoor entertainment and attractions, including cinemas, museums and soft play, will reopen. All indoor adult group sports and exercise classes can resume. Some larger performances and sporting events in indoor and outdoor venues can resume with capacity limits. Up to 30 people will be able to attend most significant life events, including weddings, receptions, funerals, wakes, christenings and bar mitzvahs. Step 4 not before the 21st of June 2021. We expect to be in a position to remove all legal limits on social contact. We hope to reopen nightclubs and lift the restrictions on large events and performances that apply in step 3. 
This will be subject to the results of a scientific events research program to test the outcome of pilot events through the spring and summer. As we move through each of these phases in the roadmap, we must all remember that COVID-19 remains a part of our lives and we must continue to get tested and to carry on with practicing hands, face, space and letting fresh air in. Until the rules change, please stay at home to protect the NHS and save lives.